So there are many things that are new in atopic dermatitis. In fact, most of the publications that are relevant to that question are 2016, 2017 publications. So this is a lot like psoriasis, where we realize that it's a systemic inflammatory disorder, and there are lots of other pathologic things we need to look about. This is the same thing now with atopic dermatitis. So some of them include sleep disturbance. Well, we, we kind of knew that already, but we didn't realize some of the ramifications of sleep disturbance. If you itch, you scratch, you don't sleep. And that can do everything from compromise your ability to be creative, can cause memory loss, Sleep deprivation can lead in the adult, atopic dermatitis, to facilitating cardiovascular disease and stroke. And in children, sleep disturbance can lead to growth retardation. Those are serious complications. But it's not just sleep disturbance. It's obesity, both in adults and in children, that may be related to poor lifestyle choices or may be related to biologic factors. It's also irrespective of obesity. Stroke, heart attack, and hypertension for the adult atopic dermatitis patients. Lots of neuropsychiatric problems, anxiety, depression, to the degree, the same degree as with psoriasis, which we already understand, even including suicidal ideation. And then some that we never even thought to look for have now been exposed in huge studies done in countries where they have centralized national health care and easy accessibility to large numbers of patients to survey. So massive statistics show that there's an increased risk of osteoporosis with atopic dermatitis. Who would have thought that, for example, as well as other things. So this is a developing story. Stay tuned and be aware. Increased risk of lymphoma. So you can't just take an enlarged lymph node and say, oh, that's related to bad skin and scratching and a little superficial infection. It might be a sign of lymphoma. There's a major increased risk associated with atopic dermatitis. That includes adolescents who frequently get lymphoma, such as Hodgkin's disease. So it's becoming very complicated, but I think this will all sort out. What we don't know is if treatment for atopic dermatitis will alleviate some of these comorbidities and other things that we now need to watch for. We do know that's true for psoriasis. To some extent, certainly, we just don't know yet if that's true for atopic dermatitis.